video you're about to watch is going to illustrate um, a short research project incorporating work between primary and local secondary schools. It used uh, forensic science as the theme. It also allowed children to interact with a local forensic scientist and share information between the local primary school and the secondary school. The data for the project, as Neil said earlier, was, uh, was collected from primary pupils aged 6 to 11 and secondary pupils aged 11 to 13. And they came from three different areas in Scotland. The project involved three sets of schools, three different local authorities, allowing the children to collaborate uh, across distance and locally. The project involved six lessons to keep it short and snappy and make it uh, fit into the local school calendars. The idea was that the, the, the pupils would uh, work together to solve a crime scene. However, not all pupils got all clues, so collaboration was a key element and the collaboration was organised through online resources such as the wiki. The pupils investigated a number of uh, forensic science aspects such as fingerprints, hair, blood, footprints, interviews from suspects, but not all pupils got all clues, so it was essential that the pupils had to collaborate to try and solve the crime. We gave the, the pupils in all the schools a chance to discuss their work as a, a single unit through an online forum called GlowMeet, Glow being the Scottish internet uh, system. During the project, each set of schools recorded their work on an online wiki. You'll find examples of the lessons, the activities and the people's work as the video progresses. I hope you enjoy watching the video. It just sounded that it would get our children really enthused about science, working together in teams and obviously using gold. So um, it's something that's been picked up by other schools because it was so successful and something that we're going to develop further for uh, future years. Um, but for me, uh, you know, it gave us the chance to provide opportunities for the children to work collaboratively, to uh, all contribute together, be effective contributors to the, to the, the project. Strengths for me was that it, it really did appeal to the children. Uh, it made science relevant to them. They actually enjoyed what they were doing. They liked using the internet interface and they also liked using the Glow Meet. They were so into it, you know, they thought everything was real. And <laughs> to be able to use Glow actually meant that we were able to connect with uh, children in a way that we wouldn't normally have been able to. We were able to do Glow Meet or we were able to uh, chat um, with um, Dr Mallet and with uh, Susan and various others who were able to clarify and challenge some of the ideas that the, the pupils were coming up with. The best thing was actually seeing um, how the kids really took it on board and were more than willing to come up with their own ideas and um, produce things that we haven't e hadn't even thought about. <laughs> It's also interesting to know that some of them are actually thinking of um, going into forensic science and I told them you need biology. <laughs> the, for the pupils, the excitement of the whole thing really became tangible. Well, it's got lots of liter literacy, obviously, because having to discuss and work together, it, building up the confidence because as they're working together and they're actually getting success and they're, they're getting immediate feedback. Um, the other thing is that there's quite a lot of numeracy involved, looking at the distances between the blood spatter marks, for example calculating the size of the footprint, looking at the depth of the footprint.
really worthwhile. The children enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And the teachers that did this in the follow-up with the primary sevens during the visit, they really enjoyed it. And the feedback from the primary sevens was that this was the best thing they'd done all day. I've now seen examples of the pupils' work and the activities that the pupils engaged in. Towards the end of the project, all pupils got a chance to engage with the other schools through the Scottish internet called GLOW. There are several tools that GLOW offers schools. One is the opportunity to have a GLOW meet, and this is where the pupils got a chance to hear other people's findings. The other tool which GLOW provides is an online wiki, and during the project, Pupils recorded the results on the online wiki. Towards the end of the project, the wikis were shared ac across the clusters, so each set of pupils got a chance to see the work of the others. It's interesting to note that several of the, the schools are continuing to use the theme as a model for future work with pupils in the transition from primary to secondary. And finally, from a personal perspective, it's been interesting to see how the different schools have engaged in the work of the project, have given brief information to start with and their interpretation of the work. It's been interesting to see because this started from a casual conversation and it's proved to be quite a successful piece of work thanks to the efforts of the pupils and the staff involved. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.